Annie and Snowball, and the Shining Star. Annie and Snowball and the Shining Star by Cynthia Ryland Illustrated by Suchet Stevenson Published by Simon Spotlight Copyright 2009 Contents Christmas time. Page five. Practice. Page thirteen. Like a star. Page twenty three. Christmas time. It was Christmas time, and Annie was so excited. She called her cousin Henry, who lived next door. I'm going to be a star in a play, she said, petting her bunny, Snowball. You're going to be the star in a play, said Henry. Wow! No, said Annie, not the star. A star. There will be lots of stars, and I get to be one of them. Great, said Henry. I'm a little nervous, said Annie. I've never been in a play before. Maybe you should practice, said Henry. Practice being a star, asked Annie. Sure, said Henry. Mudge and I can watch. Annie imagined Henry and Mudge at the school play. Mudge would want to kiss all the stars. Okay, said Annie. I'll practice at your house, if that's okay. Sure, said Henry. Come on over. Practice. Annie and Snowball went next door to Henry and Mudge's house. Henry's mom was doing laundry. Snowball loved laundry. She loved the warm towels. Is it all right? If Snowball sleeps in the towels, asked Annie. Of course, said Henry's mom. That's why we have white ones, so little white bunnies can disappear. Annie smiled. Snowball had disappeared, except for her pink nose. Annie went upstairs to Henry's room. Henry was feeding his fish. Mudge was helping. When Mudge saw Annie, he gave her a big sloppy kiss. Aw, oh, Mudge, said Annie with a smile.
Henry and Mudge sat on Henry's bed and watched Annie practice. She sang a little song and did a little dance, then took a little bow. Henry clapped. Good job, he said. Mudge wagged. He jumped off the bed and kissed Annie again. Are you sure I did okay? Annie asked Henry, wiping dog drool off her face with a hanky. You'll be great, said Henry. Annie smiled. She wasn't so nervous anymore. Like a star. On the night of her school play, Annie's nerves came back. She knew they had come back because she had a pink blotch on her face. Annie got pink blotches when she was nervous. On the way to the school, Annie petted Snowball to calm down. I wish Snowball could come with me, Annie told her dad. So do I, said her dad. But our car is warm and she has her snuggly snuggle box. When they arrived at the school, Annie saw Henry and Henry's parents. Mudge was in their car. I wish Mudge could come with me, Annie told Henry. So do I, said Henry. Mudge watched Annie and Henry go into the school. Mudge had a shoe to chew. He was okay. Inside, Annie went backstage to put on her star costume. It was sparkling silver, and whenever she moved, it glittered. Annie loved it. She loved her star costume so much that she almost forgot about her nerves. But when it was time to go on stage, they came back. Annie knew she needed to think of something good. So she began to think of Snowball. She thought of Snowball being beautiful, sparkly, and glittery like a star. Annie stepped on stage. She saw her dad and Henry and Henry's parents in the audience. They all waved. They looked so proud. Suddenly, Annie felt beautiful, sparkly, and glittery. She felt just like a star. Annie sang her little song and did her little dance, then took 
a little bow. Everyone clapped and clapped for Annie and for all of the stars. Annie was so happy. After the play, Annie and Snowball went to Henry's house for popcorn and hot chocolate. Snowball and Mudge loved popcorn. Were you nervous on stage? asked Henry. Not really, said Annie. That's because you practiced, said Henry. Yes, said Annie, but Snowball helped too. How? asked Henry. Just by sparkling, said Annie. And she picked up her bunny and smiled.